Just some retro gamer here. Welcome to another gaming showcase, a series where I will introduce you to some games you might not be overly familiar with. Today we're taking a look at Sunset Riders, an arcade run and gun game by Konami and originally released in arcades in 1991. As of this video's release, it is currently available on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Sega Genesis port of the game. Stick around till the end. We also have a cheat code that might help you get to the end of the game. First off, unlike the arcade or Super Nintendo port, there are only two characters you can choose from, Billy Cool and Cormano Wild. Billy fires his gun in a straight line, as well as in an angle when he picks up an extra gun. Cormano fires a spread shot that covers a bigger area. Overall, this makes him a little easier to play as. As far as other differences go, there are only a total of four bosses as opposed to the arcade's original eight. The levels are also structured a little differently. Each level actually consists of two stages. The first stage has you rescue a female hostage at the end of the stage. Thank you, nice boy. While the second one has you fighting the boss of that area. There are also technically only two power-ups in the game, the extra gun power-up and the rapid fire power-up. The extra gun gives your character a second gun and increases the overall spread of your weapon. The rapid fire, as its name implies, allows your character to fire their weapons at a higher rate of speed. You can typically find these power-ups by entering the saloons in the first two stages or by shooting the bags carried by the bandits. In addition to power-ups, you may also find a star when shooting these bags. These stars give you access to a bonus stage after you defeated the area's boss. The bonus stages are also different in this part of the game. While in these bonus areas, you find yourself chasing down a wagon, throwing out both coins and extra lives. Sometimes shooting a bag will also reveal a stick of dynamite. You can pick these up and toss them back at enemies. Just be careful not to blow yourself up. These also explode when you shoot them with your gun. Sunset Riders offers multiple difficulty options. Typically speeding up or slowing down enemy bullets as well as uh, credits and lives adjustment. Unlike the original arcade and Super Nintendo ports, this game also offers a two-player versus mode, along with the two-player co-op. If you enjoy run and gunners like the original Nintendo's Contra or PlayStation's Metal Slug, this might be a good game for you to enjoy. As of this video's release, the game cartridge is currently selling for about $40 on eBay. And while it is a fun game, I feel that is a bit expensive for what you get from the game, considering the game could be completed in about 20 minutes or so. Though, if you were to give this game a rating, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10 myself. Okay, and as promised, here's a cheat code to give you 99 credits. First, go into the game's options screen. Go to the sound test and play sound 0E. 
Exit and choose one or two players. Right after you choose your character, press A, B, and C simultaneously and then release. And that's it! You now have 99 continues, or credits as the game calls it. What's also neat is this actually works with any of the difficulty settings too. There's technically three different endings to this game as well, depending on the difficulty you select. Though they're only very slightly different. Well, that's all I have for this showcase. I'm just some retro gamer. Thanks for watching!